On this channel, we absolutely love superheroes, whether they're DC or Marvel, and today we're going to be featuring a Marvel piece, of course, Daredevil, the 1-4 scale statue from Iron Studios. That's up next. Hey guys, it's Chris the Batman Statue Collector and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. And I just want to say I'm so very thankful that you're here today. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this content. That just means the world to me. And if it's your first time visiting, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I really think you're going to enjoy the content on this channel. So with that said, like I said at the very beginning today, we're going to be checking out an awesome Marvel piece from our friends over at Iron Studios. And this one they are calling their legacy replica, of course, of Daredevil. It's a quarter scale piece. It's really fun, really dynamic, a really great sculpt. And I want to give a big shout out to collector Tyler Clough, who sent in footage of his incredible piece. And he wanted me to share my thoughts and opinions on this piece. I also want to know what you guys think of this one, because I think it's really well done. I think it's a good price point for what you're getting. And without further ado let's check it out all right guys and gals let's go ahead and check out this great piece again this is a legacy replica one four scale uh, from our friends over at iron studios and this is a really impressive piece um, lots of great detail here i really like the base i really like the background as well but let's go ahead and check it out um, again this is really well sculpted and i love the colors on this base it's kind of a light gray where a lot of times we see these really really dark gray bases whereas this one has a lot of great features uh, this <laughs> angelic cherub here which looks really great um, obviously very well sculpted and look at the different colors here. Look at the different stone textures here. Um, it looks really good to me. Um, and I love the shading that they did. I love the, the etching that they did inside the wings, you can see. Um, and I just think it's really, really well done. And it really looks like old, you know, beautiful stone. Um, kind of almost like cemetery stone. It just looks really, really good. Um, and there's lots to look at. You know, you have different crumbled elements of this thing. Um, the different pillars and the different, uh, you know, destroyed elements. But I do think it looks really good. Of course, uh, it definitely helps tell the story of the character, and it def definitely uh, provides some visual interest, uh, in my opinion. Um, this is a pretty good size statue. It's 23.6 inches tall by 11.8 inches wide and 15 inches deep. So it's going to take up a little bit of space in your collection, but not too much. Of course, you know, it's going to be fairly comparable to a lot of the other uh, four scale pieces in your collection. It does also weigh 35 pounds. Um, so it's, you know, a nice solid polystone statue. Um, and this one does retail for $700 USD. Um, I really like the stained glass element in the back. I think that is a really cool look. Um, and I just absolutely love the colors that pop off of it. Of course, it is just, you know, accentuating the actual statue itself. But I do, again, feel like this background and the base itself uh, really does help uh, help tell a beautiful story but look at that look at that it's just absolutely beautiful um i just love the way this looks like a church window very very nice very well sculpted and again i like the the lighter color gray um instead of it being a really dark dingy gray i like that it's kind of more of a um you know maybe a daylight shot which is really nice uh, and again it's just something different that i'm not used to having so many dark batman statues in my collection but again it's a really cool piece. Uh, let's go ahead and start looking at the figure itself. Uh, beautifully sculpted, uh, really nice red tones. You see some uh, reds and some magentas there. Um, I really like that. And of course, uh, as we go up the statue, you're going to see some nice texturing here from Iron Studios. Um, there are some smooth areas, but there's also some nice cloth areas. Of course, this is fully sculpted, but you can really see uh, kind of like that mesh undersuit or you know under the armpit area. I think that looks really good. And you really see the tones on the muscles. I think they did a really good job. Uh, of shading that in my opinion um, and then as we spin around you're going to see even more detail of course um, on the legs you can really see those thigh muscles really really nice um, the the gun pack around his thigh I think that looks really well sculpted you see how the fabric you know the sculpted fabric bunches up around it I think that's really nicely done uh, you see some piping there um, and again the reds again he's very red I mean there's a lot of red going on in this uh, particular statue but I feel like they really um, you know separated that out really well with the muscle definition I think that's really really nice um, and again the red really bounces off that gray. I mean, beautifully, in my opinion. I think it's really, really good. Um, then, of course, we have the Daredevil logo on the chest, and that looks good. Again, the piping in the suit. 
And again, that face sculpt uh, is just really, really well done. I think they really captured a really nice look here. Very stern. He is in mid-action. He's ready to pounce and he's focused. And I think that they really captured that. Um, the muscles in the arms look really good. Again, I just am really impressed with the overall anatomy here. I think they did a really great job overall. And again, I like that color separation. You can really see the dark around his shoulder. Um, and that separates really nicely along the rest of the suit. And again, look at the, it almost looks like leather, the way it's sculpted. It's just really, really well textured in my opinion. I love how uh, detailed all of these modern statues are getting. They're just, the, the level of detail is just mind blowing. Um, and Iron Studios does a really good job with this scale. Uh, everything that I've seen in this scale that they've done is really impressive to me. Uh, and here we have a close up of that face. Um, I just think it's really good. I think the skin looks really good. I think it looks well textured. Uh, you can see that, you know, that five o'clock shadow, it looks really good, but not overly done. And again, I just think it's really good. Um, this is uh, available on waitlist at Sideshow, so you can still jump on that if you're interested. Otherwise, uh, you might check out the Iron Studios website and check it out. But uh, anyway, I want to know your thoughts on this piece. What do you guys think of it? Leave your comments down below. Otherwise, just thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time right here in the Batcave. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today, and if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen, and check out these two awesome videos, I think you're going to love them, and also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching, see you in the Batcave.